Have you ever looked up at the stars and wondered, what if we got there sooner? What if, instead of just taking small steps for man, we had taken giant leaps for mankind and started colonizing space back in the 20th century? Forget the moon landing as a singular event. Imagine cities on the moon and outposts on Mars being built while the Beatles were still topping the charts. How would our world be different today? Would the Cold War have escalated into a Star War? Or would it have fostered a new era of unprecedented cooperation? Let's rewind the clock. It's the 1960s. The space race is on. But the goal isn't just planting a flag. It's about establishing a permanent human presence beyond Earth. The political landscape would have been completely redrawn. The Cold War dynamic between the United States and the Soviet Union would have intensified, but with a new, extraterrestrial dimension. Control of space wouldn't just be about military advantage. It would be about controlling new resources, new territories, and the very future of humanity. Imagine a space NATO or a cosmic Warsaw Pact. Alliances would shift. Nations with fledgling space programs, like China, India, or a unified Europe, would suddenly become pivotal players. The UN would have to establish a new body, something like the United Nations Office for Off-World Affairs, to mediate territorial disputes on the moon or mining rights in the asteroid belt. The balance of power on Earth would be directly tied to a nation's strength in space. A country with a self-sustaining lunar colony would have immense geopolitical leverage. Would this lead to a new form of colonialism, a celestial manifest destiny? Or would the sheer challenge of survival in space force these superpowers into an uneasy, but necessary, partnership?